All right, today we are going to test our fan controller, the low ambient control on your Excel series units. Uh, that's this black device here. This is what controls the speed of the fan, allows it to shut off and turn on for low ambient conditions. So in the event of your fan is not functioning, it's important to start with this step first. What we're gonna do is turn the power off to this unit. We do not want electricity here for safety reasons. So there's a simple dip switch right here. It's a white arrow pointing down to it. And what it is, is it's a black plastic jumper and it jumpers two of three pins. I'm gonna remove it and show you. So take this black jumper off. It's in my fingers here. And you'll see there are three metal pins here. In the normal operation, it will cover the top two pins of this controller. We're gonna go ahead and move that down and it is quite small. So it takes a little bit of finesse, but you can get it on there. So we've got it covering these bottom two pins. There's a single one exposed. We then turn the power on and this green light should light up and we should see our fan running in full speed. So as you can see, the green light came on and if you look at the fan on the top, you'll see that the fan is now spinning in full speed. In the event that this does not function, it could mean that there is something wrong with your head pressure control or your ambient control. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the power off again one more time. You're gonna put your jumper back to the normal position, which is the top two pins. Let me get my hand out of the way here. Let's get this on. So again, you've got one single pin now showing out the bottom. So the secondary way to jumper this is actually the high voltage side. So again, make sure your power is off. So up here, we've got a motor two wire, our black fan wire, and we've got a line two black wire, our power, input power. We're just going to take these connectors and these connectors just wiggle. Just give them a little wiggle, they'll come right off. You don't wanna to pull too hard, remove this connector. And then you'll notice on this line two connection, there's a little male pigtail sticking out. We're just gonna push that right onto it. And again, now we're going to try our power. So if you don't notice any lights, that's fine because we've troubleshot that control already. But you will notice we've completely bypassed this control now and now the fan is off. 